are you doing? Hey guys, welcome to the Collider TV Talk Westworld, episode one, season one, review. I'm Josh McCuga, the sexiest man in Westworld. No, I don't know. This show's coming out on HBO. I've been dogging it since day one. Let's see what you guys have to say. <laughs> oh my God. I, listen. We talked about it on Movie Talk. If you guys are watching it, we're doing our episode. This is all spoilers, so we don't even put the, put the spoiler up there. We're going to spoil a bunch of stuff. So if you guys don't want to be spoiled, turn, turn away and tune back after you've seen the episode. This show we've been talking about forever, uh, and we finally got our season premiere. And I, I, I just... I think it's good. I just am not like, oh my God, I can't wait for another episode. That's just me. I'm going to turn it over to David Griffin and Sasha Paul Raver and let them go and then see if I can't counterpoint an argument. That is just you. <laughs> I am so, so roped into the show. I thought that it was beautifully crafted, very well written, phenomenally acted. The moment where you see them basically 3D printing human beings, I was like, I'm in, I'm in. I can't wait. And as I said, during TV talk, we know that this is David Griffin's just bread and butter because it's sci-fi and white escapism. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I was on camera. <laughs> I, see, I see myself nodding at myself. Oh, uh, yeah. Woo, television. Um, <laughs> I love this. This was so good. Um, I, I love artificial intelligence. I love Battlestar Galactica. I love Blade Runner. All these, you know, do Android dream of electric sleep? These notions of what makes us human. Anthony Hopkins over and over again talking about like mistakes and that's that's what makes humanity. You know, he's putting stuff. In, he, he wants chaos to break out. He right. wants these androids to uh, evolve and to change. And you have Ed Harris, who's on some kind of like spiritual path for truth, looking for some kind of truth in this in these uh, with these androids. I didn't take last. that. Oh, okay. so so I. I to be fair, I guess I cheated. There's a they show like a you know next on sure. on Westwood. You can see he's like there's Westwood. Some Westwood. Westwood. Oh, sorry. West, what's what's Westwood? Go, one? Go, go oh, wait, that, that, that's not, yeah, cookie. Uh, you, <laughs> is that we get the, word from our sponsor? Is that where we get the ice cream sandwiches? Yeah, no, it is. Dee Dee Reese. Yeah, Dee Dee Reese. That's yeah. what's up. Sorry, that's so, what's up. <laughs> I, I no, I, I knew second. where you were going. But um, he has this idea where the, the the creator, possibly Anthony Hopkins, has this. Uh, there's like this map, and uh, he you know he scalped the guy to see what was on the back. And he's trying to find this truth that may unlock the something that's programmed into the android's mind. It's like there's a bigger picture. Yeah. There's also a smaller picture too. So I didn't see. Ed Harris's character as a man on a, on a mission for truth. I saw him because they talk about uh, there's that beautiful scene where you've got two of like the corporate overlords of mm -hmm. Westworld standing outside during the sunset and she says, yes, this is one thing to our clients. It's something else to the shareholders and it's something else to management. But they also talked about competition. So I saw him as somebody who, like, I almost saw it as corporate corporate espionage. Is he human or is he an android? No, he's, he's no. He's, so that, that's a trick because yeah. Yul Brenner in the 1973 version of this is the man in black. He's mm -hmm. the gunslinger and he is an android. So I'm like, oh, he's Yul Brenner's character. He's going to go crazy and kill everybody. And then when the thing happens, you find out that uh, Marston, Cyclops, is actually uh, the android. I'm like, oh, he's a real human being. No, he's he he's searching for something. Yeah. He he like believes in this world. Like he's he's not just like going on a fantasy excursion like he actually believes there's something greater that he can find out here some See, truth and i think he's doing research so he can steal it and bring Maybe. it over to another company that's almost like the competition that's what i thought i thought that the uh character of sir anthony hopkins was so brilliant the moment where mm -hmm. you're in the cold storage facility with the other hemsworth uh, hey. yeah. yeah, when I saw him, I was looking at him, and I'm like, that looks like Thor. And I was like, oh, that's his brother. That's, that's right. the third. That's the third brother. That's right. Yeah, what's, what's his yeah. name? Like Anthony? Luke. Luke, Luke Hemsworth. Luke Hemsworth. Hemsworth. Yeah. That scene where they go downstairs, and you walk through this just bizarre Huge set. That's a sort gorgeous set. Of, the sets are so incredible. But the like obstacle course of human bodies in cold storage. And, and then like we see him like, yeah. Yeah. with Anthony Hopkins having a drink with the one, mm. like, you know, whatever, like second generation android. And Jeffrey Wright, who's another fantastic actor. Incredible. Mm -hmm. The acting on the show, the way that that character mm -hmm. was moving as if he was like slightly shutting down, like the, the sound effects they put on it. You guys, I just thought it was brilliant. My only concern with the show is we've already heard that it's going to be five seasons. Mm -hmm. This is a show I feel like you do in one. Yeah. This is a 100%. show where if you give me 12 episodes... have done a movie, so why not just do an anthology? I don't know where this goes. I think, well, there's other worlds within Westworld. There's yeah, future so world, there's, there's future Roman world, world. Roman world, there's like uh, uh, Greece, there's like yeah. middle, middle, medieval, there's other world. There, there were sequels to the original film, and yeah, there's a lot of... <gasps> there, yeah. Oh my God, what if medieval world is Game of Thrones, and it's a crossover episode, and we find out at the finale of Game of Thrones that, that this entire cool. thing has <laughs> yeah, just... He quits, <laughs> he quits TV talk, he's like, I'm out. He quits. I'll, I'll, I'll just we'll start watching Keep You Up With The Kardashians and 
and just Stop numb it. my brain. Stop it. No, you won't. Stop it. See, things Can I like say that. my favorite scene real quick? I would yeah. say my favorite scene was between Dolores' dad after he malfunctioned and, and Anthony Hopkins, and he starts like, he basically is going through his programming to see where he is, and Brilliant. he's saying all these things. You find out that it's not just randomized nonsense at one point his character was in this offshoot of a story somewhere deep in the desert where he was a part of this cannibal eating crazy family like the texas chainsaw massacre or something like that and that's still that there's a residue in there you can't completely delete the like they say you can't really completely delete things off your phone like there's still something back there that's coming back into like his sub he has a subconscious now yeah he can get they can go rogue they can go bad they can turn into serial killers now because it's built into their well, that's but network. that sort of gave the implication <clears throat> that if you could only go with you could only go rogue you could only like go right. dark if that was something that already existed in you mm -hmm. but that was why i loved or abigail is the character mm -hmm. that uh evan rachel wood plays correct dolores dolores, dolores i'm sorry yeah. dolores because she seems so perfect and so pristine and then she slaps the fly at the end which mm -hmm. I saw coming three minutes in I was like this show's gonna end with somebody slapping a fly on their neck and then it was her mm. but I was glad it was her I think that what's interesting is to see characters that haven't been programmed in that way start going down this other path because it definitely is has that ex machina kind of feel totally with that totally you yeah know? I think that's maybe why I, and we haven't really heard from yeah, Sinead. Sinead we haven't, yeah. What do you think, Sinead? Um, well, I love Ex Machina, by the way. Oh, There's something show. about that AI that just like fascinates the hell out of me. Like, I think it's such a cool, I just, I would love to see that in like all movies. Mm. And I, it's like so cool because I'm not a huge sci-fi person, but this is the kind of sci-fi that I want to watch. Like, I loved this. I thought it was great. I was a little confused like throughout it but i appreciate that too because it is a pilot i don't want to understand everything i don't want to know what what ed harris ed harris right yeah, yeah. ed harris's uh character's motives are like i, I don't want to know all of it just yet mm -hmm. the only thing that concerns me a little bit, i did watch the teaser of moving yeah. forward as well i just i really hope that we kind of explore um anthony hopkins a lot because um, and, I feel an Anthony like Hopkins origin story, if you will, <laughs> or like, but like, it just w like how how what he why he's doing what he's doing, and I want him to be bad. Like I really want him to have some crazy twisted motive that we don't mm -hmm. see coming, because if if they don't really explore the people who are running this world. I'm going, I'm going to lose interest. You know, like yeah. I think that he's going to be the bad as opposed to the female overseer. Yeah. I don't, for her, like her, I didn't really buy her that much. Like I didn't, I didn't find her that intimidating. I didn't find her that interesting. Like she's fine. Like I get what her role is in this, but I'd be way more excited to see like Anthony Hopkins character kind of sprawl out. Cause the way when he, when he was talking to Dolores' dad, yeah. like I he didn't, that. that was incredible, but he didn't seem like, like he, I don't even know, like he almost seems like, meh, like no, no feeling. You're talking no. to it like you talk to your iPhone. Right. Like Siri. What do if, right. Siri, what if do he's that. AI? Yeah. And Ooh. that's, I, that thought crossed my mind. Mm -hmm. That thought crossed my mind a couple different times in the episode. And I was like, I wonder, I wonder if we're going to find out that one of these big ups or whatever is an AI as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I agree. He talks to it like it's an iPhone. It's disgusting, but it's amazing at the same time because he has no like compassion. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, it's like he created these robots like they're robots. Like why would he think of them any differently other than robots? But then why but is that, he visiting with one? But that's what I'm saying. Like, like I like, remember our good old robot days. Right, back in and the that's day? that's what I'm saying. Like I want them to explore where he, what what is going on in his head because it's very fascinating. Because obviously he cares about these things, but does he care about it for his own own reasons, like his own selfish reasons, because of the park, or does he care about it because he's actually grown to love these these AIs? I don't know. Like I have always, no idea. Like we also see Jeffrey Wright look at a, a photo of I'm assuming maybe his son is dead or maybe he's away from his son, but maybe he's into this because. Of development, maybe there's a, a kid out there that looks right. like his son. You saw, you, I saw some kid that looked like Jeffrey Wright. You know, mm -hmm, maybe mm -hmm. you know who knows. You and know. what about the photograph that Dolores' dad finds? Like, wh what does that even mean? Like, we don't even know yeah. what that is. I assume really. it was maybe one of the yeah. guests the left, guess, like, left there, left and there. they had to like clean out the. But it's, it's making these robots twitch, or they're, they're thinking about things that they never thought about because oh, they have a subconscious. Yeah. they're coming yeah. alive. Right. I thought it was so interesting. But there's also <laughs> all these like little threads that they laid out, like uh, Shannon Woodward, who plays the assistant. She was great she, on Raising Hope. Yes, yeah, she was mm. when she kisses. 
is the one prostitute. Yes. And you know that later on, probably that'll be something where they're, maybe they want to shut that robot down. Maybe that robot breaks free. And mm -hmm. rather than having to shut her down because there's already like a love story there, she won't be able to. I think the way that they set up uh, Jeffrey Wright's character, because he is so, like his motives are so nebulous. Mm -hmm. I think that that's going to be really interesting. I don't think Anthony Hopkins is going to end up being the bad one because I think that what he cares about is the humanity and is the humanity that he's imbued these AIs with. And I think he's fascinated by their abilities. So I think he, they said, he, remember made that one comment about like life is we've peaked because we don't know what the outside world looks like. We haven't seen the outside world really. I mean, he talks about how we've had, we, we said we have, we have cures for diseases. Basically the humanity has reached its peak in whatever society, whatever time period they're living in. So this is the next step. Is artificial intelligence, you know? So I mean, I think that's pretty fascinating. I yeah, know. you know, I, th I think for me, uh, there was just so much hype, and that always happens to me in certain movies and TV shows that I was expecting like some amazing twist or something that was really going to get me so bought in via the yeah. pilot, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and it just it just didn't have that for me. Um, I mentioned the show a bunch of times. I went Shannon Woodward, The Riches. That was the one with Eddie oh, Izzard yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Mini Driver. Amazing show. Sorry, is a sidetrack, but. Uh, I just Ugh, feel like driver. I've seen I've just seen this show. I've seen this movie. I've seen this show. It's a western, and it's like we're an old timey saloon, and we got hookers, and they're really hot, and we're gonna show a bunch of boobs, and we're gonna show like rich people who nobody cares about because they're they're like, oh, I shot them. This is great. I, I just there's nothing to me that I've I haven't seen before. Uh, like we're in Game of Thrones. Yes, we'd seen like certain things, but we hadn't really seen the scope of of something like this. And in Sopranos, we'd seen certain things like it, but we hadn't seen anything like this. Same with The Wire. Same with uh, Sons of Anarchy, stuff like this. I've seen Westworld. But I would say, I've Josh, I would say, this is not going to be just a Westworld. It's going to evolve into something else. And yeah. I, I would Again, caution. I, I've Game, seen Game of Thrones it. Off was, well, Game of Thrones was not perfect. Game of Thrones was slow for the first four or five episodes. It took season one a while for it to get going. I understand that, but... What I'm saying is that, like, uh, Game of Thrones, yes, it was a slow build and all mm -hmm. that stuff, but I don't... You, you're talking about Roman world and Greece world and you know Water world and w Wanda world. I don't. I'm, what and I'm Kevin saying is that like shows all up. The, it's going to be the same. It's going <laughs> to be the cool. same plot. Who's an AI? Who isn't? Who's the AI that may have the subconscious? It's going to start killing the people. People that we don't care about. They're just rich white people that want escapism. People that we don't care about. I've I've seen it. I robot. I've seen it. Ex Machina. I loved Ex Machina, but I've seen it. Josh, and this, sorry. take a breath. Sorry. Oh, Sinead, you're so sweet. You're such a good guys, mom. There, there was a black family with a young kid. First of all, I would not take my kid to Westworld. Like, you're yeah. taking your kid to a saloon. There's people doing orgies, like, two floors up from you. <laughs> it's like, oh, don't go across the river. The ri across the river is where it gets dangerous. I would not take my kid to Westworld. But I do love how he was like, you're not real. You're not real. Yeah. I was like, you little... Ch yeah. <laughs> you're one of them, aren't you? Oh, let's talk about some <clears throat> other things that I think... Okay, so yes, I agree. This is similar to Ex Machina. It also reminded me of Edge of Tomorrow. And the one issue yeah. that I have with that is it can lower stakes. Yeah. If mm. you feel like nobody can really die and everything can just yeah. be revitalized. I think they're going to address that, though, because obviously like that's a major issue. There are so many things, though, that you, I think, can dig really deep into. The acting, which is fantastic. The set design, which is incredible. The music design, like Paint It Black being played, no, or Black Hole Black Sun, Hole Sun being played amazing. on the like old-timey piano. That was so awesome. Good. I think that what they had to do in the pilot, and I think you need to do your, when we know you're going to give it a three episode Of course. Oh, I'm training listen, ground. We're going to keep watching this and it's going to keep pushing numbers. I'm going to have to keep watching it. Right. So, But I think that what they're doing is they're giving you, they can't throw out so much that you understand like the full consequence of the world. But I think that this is going to end up being a lot less predictable than you're saying right okay. now. Yeah, okay. I hope so. I so. And remember, okay. this was the show that we talked about where like the extras had to sign consent forms because there was like genital to genital touching for the extras. Remember, there was like making news that yeah. like mm -hmm. it's like supposed to be like <laughs> that was just on me. It's a nice one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's I true. Love when you're operating. Like it, they they said that they were pushing the limits like so hard, and it came to like sex and nudity and graphic content, and like obviously we know we didn't really see any of that to, uh, uh, last you, night. What, are you talking about the face exploding against the piano? And when they cut to the cold storage and everybody's naked. Yeah. Which seeing, I am. You're seeing wangers, oh, yeah. you're seeing boobs, you're seeing that's it all. That's true, that's true. I did so see a lot of wangers. Here is did the, see a lot of wangers. <laughs> Wang. Here's the one thing I will Love say dick. I did not enjoy. 
<laughs> Lord. No, unless people have watched. You know that this lives on the internet, so like people won't know that reference. Oh yeah, shoot. <laughs> no, nope, uh, nope, you can't. Yeah. Show, show on Amazon, Amazon no, guys. It show on Amazon. Amazon. No, nope, yeah, it lives you just sound like weird. That? Hey yeah. guys, I'm Josh nope, McCook. Nope. Welcome back to Collider <laughs> TV Talk. Review of Westworld, episode one, season one. Okay, go ahead. So the one thing that I did not like is Rodrigo Santoro. Santoro. Xerxes. From 300. Look yeah. at how excited you just got. I saw the boy, that's Rodrigo. That guy's a pimp, man. Yeah. He <laughs> is, is, is he the guy with the scar? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. His whoever handmaiden blonde chick who was awesome. just busting fools, that was rad. That was cool. I want to hear oh, his speech. That, that guy wrote a new speech. That was my favorite part I of the episode. I wanted to hear his speech. I didn't know if that was a tattoo or like an acid burn. Yeah, it looked like, yeah, I think it might be. he, yeah. I thought, was so super miscast. I see that dude as being flouncy and pretty. Yep. He has no business What's being the movie where Black he's, Bart. He's married to like J-Lo and they're getting a baby and it's like it's like husband and wife and like people one person has a baby uh, you know the movie it's I'm not love about? actually because I no, always no, think no. of him as no. and like Carl. He, and, he and his the, wife the, like the plan the perf uh, the plan the backup plan the back no because that's dude from uh, uh, Hawaii Five-0 <laughs> Um, He's Xerxes in 300. That's all I need to know. Watch 300. No, but, that, but what I'm saying is, is that uh, he he the backup is plan. The backup plan. That is him? He, he is that guy. Look at that guy, though. That, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Look, look he, that right. That has, that, that has no business being dirtied up in the middle of like. He doesn't really have that intimidating thing like we were talking about. He's not about intimidating. With, he's not but like. But don't forget, talking, guys, don't forget about the but, bandit? Yes. Yeah, but don't forget. But he, he was only in it for like a second. Yeah, don't right, forget. He's, he's, so he's a character like in a show. He's like in a play. I mean, he's not. I mean, he's going to come back. guarantee you he's going to come back. A bandit, you think? Well, but what I love is that characters can be switched out. Like the barber is now the dad. I thought what it Made an that amazing twist. Nice what made an amazing twist, and you guys might hate me for saying this, but an amazing twist would have been if Evan Rachel Wood comes down and sitting there as her father is Ed Harris, and then that changes the whole show. And I haven't seen that. Well, you know what? Harris That's funny because guy. for a second, you guys, I didn't realize that Ed Harris was real. I thought he was an android. Mm -hmm. I, don't I thought think so we too. Know. So I'm like, oh, this is the Yul Brenner character because he's all in black, and so I assumed, but I was I wrong. I didn't think. I thought he so was. maybe well, he's, they, an no, wait, he he's an android. No, wait, didn't they shoot at him and one of the bullets like flying yeah. off? His, so that means he's he fake. Me. No, that means he's a human. He's a human. That means he's human. That's why I put the gun. That's why I put Mar you put Marston's gun to his head and Marston kind of oh, quakes. Oh, because the the AIs can't and, kill and, humans. And that, that's why the uh, hitting the fly was such a big deal because we're not supposed to kill any living thing. Okay, that so we, that for sure there clears up the fact he's one hundred percent real. Yeah, I think he's real. Well, well, well not we don't 100%. know. I mean, and well, then also, again, that's what in this world we're know. always like everywhere. How how do how do they not know? Like, are, they have cameras, don't they? Don't aren't they watching their world? So can't they see this crazy person just killing all their AI? Well, the thing is, but you're you're allowed to. Like you yeah. can kill anybody you want as long that's as you don't true. hurt another guest. It's you're like allowed to purge. kill anybody you want to. Like and you, you can rape if you want to. That's why I think it's so fascinating. I can't because wait for Purge World season six. Because <laughs> Josh, I mean, imagine you scalping somebody, even if you know they're fake, as they're screaming. Imagine you raping somebody. Not that you, of course, ever do that. Josh is a, the nicest human being in the world. I'm just saying, if you had like, like, no, but what drives humanity to do these horrible things? This is a horrible place. Yeah. Well, that's it's what a I think. horrible place. So that was the one part of the show that I do think is fascinating because they talk about how we've reached the peak of humanity, yeah. and yet. Here is this place that exists exclusively for debauchery, for people to just indulge their deepest depravities. It's like the, it's the, that frat bro moment, that super ripped dude being like, "This place is incredible." I'm like, "Yeah, no crap. You just paid a, a bunch of money to live in like a whorehouse in the old west." <laughs> Again, none of those people are like redeeming to me that like, oh, the, the androids are going to start killing the guests. Good, get rid of those people. Yeah. The androids are totally going to start killing the guests. Obviously, because you don't Duh. have a show otherwise. But I feel like you guys are getting frustrated with things that are narrative cliches that we have come to expect. So my question to you then is, what would you rather see besides Ed Harris being the dad? What would make you say, this is inventive, this is new, I wanna, this I haven't I seen before? I kind of want to see that Issa Rae show. Oh God, that intro, I was like, whoa, she's obnoxious. I kind of like her. Whoa. I like the show. That show's a good show. Yeah. Not always, anyway, but I, that I was just I like my joke of the fact that I'm not I mean, I'm like, excited for this. I'm excited okay. to see where it's going to go. And overall, I, I really enjoyed it. Okay, so out of the, out of the, out of the, in this episode one of season one, out of five flies on your face, what do you give it, Sinead? I'm going to give it, um... Three flies in my face. Three. What? Oh, that's a burn. Burn. Wow, that's I don't so believe low. in decimals, though, you know? So, uh, like, if I wanted to play your guys, I'd be like, 3.475. Okay, 3.475 right, flies 3. in your face. All right, 3.475 flies in my face. Is that Yes. David Angelo... Fictitious Griffin. Sausalito. The fourth. This was an excellent pilot. This is a strong pilot. 
I'm giving it a 4.8. Jesus <laughs> Lord. David Griffin! You are suspended from TV and I'm going to slap that fly <laughs> on your face. <laughs> Sasha Pearl Antonius Griffin the third. Raven. Another life. Maybe another life. Uh, I also, you guys have to remember, pilots are very difficult. Yeah. yeah. And they usually suck. Yeah. I give this a 4.81265. That's big. That's big. Uh, you just made me like it. <laughs> All those That's decimals. Big. Guys, I'm not really good with numbers. Uh, Westworld for me on HBO getting a solid two. Woo! Yeah. yeah. Everyone tweet wow. at Crush me. Josh and at tell Josh him how McCuga. wrong he is. Find him. Crush me. You're at, out Liz, of your mind. I'm not out of my I'm, mind. Okay. You know what? Let's just all hope for the best and that it's going to get to a point where we're all freaking stoked about it. Yeah, and that you're going to crush me because if it gets better, then I will I will eat gladly your hat. eat my words. I'll eat my hat. I'll, my hat is from Pittsburgh. It tastes delicious. Okay. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys for watching. Before we go, <laughs> where can the good people find you on the internet, Sinead DeFries? I'm online at Sinead DeFries and at that's so Um Here on Mondays, hosting Collider TV Talk. On Fridays, hosting Collider Movie Talk and hosting Mailbag over the weekend. David Landry Jones Griffin. Forever. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can find me at Griffin DE on Twitter and Instagram, as well as reviewing Star Wars Rebels every week with John Campion and Christian Harloff on Saturdays and movie TV Talk. Every Monday, right here on Clatter Video. At least he likes our show more than Movie Talk. <laughs> <laughs> and Sasha Pearl Raver. Says the guy who calls me Sinead half the time. <laughs> Sinead Shop Sasha. <laughs> yeah. You can find me at Sasha Pearl Raver on Instagram and Twitter. You can see me every Monday on TV Talk with these delightful fools. And every Friday hosting FX Movie Download on FX at 8 p.m. There you go, guys. That was our review of Westworld, episode one on HBO. You guys can see us talking every Monday here on Collider Video, Collider TV Talk, hashtag at Collider TV Talk. We always appreciate you guys for watching. I'm Josh McCuga at Josh McCuga on Twitter and Instagram, The Josh McCuga Show on YouTube, Film HQ on Saturdays, and here hanging out at Collider just being a jerk. Thank you guys for watching. As always, put down the book, pick up the remote. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.